This is a motor I designed for my final project of my electromechanics class at Southeastern in Burlington, Iowa. So here's some parts put together this video because I, I didn't get my motor to run <coughs> in class. Um, so I figured if I put together a cool little video with a neat little intro uh, and put a lot of effort into documenting or uh, showing the documentation of of all the work that I put into it, my my cool instructor Derek would just show me some complete love. And uh, but I did have the motor running um, before the class about 4:30 or 5 somewhere for it in the morning uh, before my 7:30 class. But when I got to class, it didn't run. So this <coughs> this was the video that I shot of it running uh, that morning. And then when I got to class, something was weird with it and it didn't work. But uh, So hopefully this appeases Derek and he doesn't ding me too hard on the final grade. But I'm sure he won't because he's pretty cool. And I'm not just saying that just because I know he's going to watch the video. He is cool. so And he's a great instructor. This is the evolution of the design. This was the original little battery wire magnet deal, which ran but not very good. So then I refined the design and, and, and did it on a little proto board and, and this thing just, I was able to get this thing. I did many, many different coils, did many, many different wrappings and different kinds of wrappings, different size wires. So I had, I got this little deal to run pretty darn quick. It, it hums right along uh, once it gets a good solid connection. <coughs> So and then the final video here is uh, when I finally got my project assembled and got the coils wrapped, uh, then I did a, a little fledgling run of the motor. So I didn't have my brushes or my insulate my brush insulators or any of that assembled or, or designed. But this was the first run and it, it ran pretty good. It ran pretty smooth. It did have a few little glitches in it here or there, but I was pretty happy with it. So there you go.